Jamuna Tira Vanachari Jamuna Tira Vanachari Jamuna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Jaya Radha Madha, Jaya Radha Madha, Jaya Radha Madha, Jaya Radha Madha. Jaya Gorani Chai, Gorani Chai, Jaya. Gorani Tai Jaya Gorani Tai Jaya Jaya Prabhupada <coughs> Prabhupada 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 Radha Madhav Juki, Padiki, Jai Om Mishnu Paramahansa Paribraja Kachaja, Ashtotarasat Sri Sriman, Isivain, Grace of Boy Charana, Ravin, the Bhakti Vedanta, Sami, Sri the Prabhupadiki, Jai, Iskan Patissa Acharya, Jagad Guru, Sri the Prabhupadiki, Jai Ananta Koto Vaishnapurindiki, Nama Charja, Sri the Haridash Thakur Ki, Jai. Premsi Kaho, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Karata, Shri Varsha, Shri Gaur Bhakta Prindakit, 
जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम मुकुंद राधा कुंद गिरी गोवान की जय श्री वृंदावन धाम की नवदीप सिमाय पोधाम की जय गंगमय की जय चमुमय की जय भक्ति देव की जय तुलसी महाराण की जय श्री हरि नाम संकीर्तन गौर भक्त वृंद की जय ओ ग्लोरियस सूर्य संबुद्धि गोटीस All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glory to Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga Nithai Goke Manandi. What's the text on the board? What in? <clears throat> okay, so we're reading from the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 2, Prayers of the Demigods. Text 14. <clears throat> Om Namo Bhagavate Vāsudevāyā Om Namo Bhagavate Vāsudevāyā Om Namo Bhagavate Vāsudevāyā Shandishtoivam Bhagavata Pateti Om Iti Tad Bacha Pratigraya Parikramya Gam Gata Tat Tata Korot Shandiste Vam Bhagavata Pateti Om Iti Tad Bacha Pratikriya Parikramya Gamgata Tata Karot Shandistaevam Bhagavata Tatiti Omiti Tadvacha Pratikriya Parikramya Gamgata Tata Karot Shandistaivam Bhagavata Adeti Omiti Tadvacham Pratikriya Parikramya Gamgata Tadakvarod Shandistaivam Bhagavata Tateti Om Iti Tad Vacha Patikraya Parikramya Kam Gata Tatata Karot Shandistevam Bhagavata Tateti Om Iti Tad Vacha Patikraya Parikramya Tam gata tata karo Tam gata tata karo Prati Griya Parikramya Kam Gata Tattata Karo Nimatajis 
Sandhita, having being ordered, evam, thus, Bhagavata, by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Tata Iti, so be it, Om, affirmation by the mantra Om, Iti, thus, Tatbacha, his words, Pratigriya, accepting the order, Parikramya, after succumbing him, Gam, to the surface of the globe, Gotta, she immediately went, Tat, the order as given by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Tata, just so, akarot, executed. <coughs> Translation and purple by His Divine Grace, Boy Charanadavinda Bhaktivedanta Swami Sri Prabhupada Ki Thus instructed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Yogamaya, immediately agreed with the, made it, with the Vedic mantra Om she confirmed that she would do what he asked thus having accepted the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead she succumbed him and started for the place on earth known as Nanda Gokul there she did everything just as she had been told <clears throat> Please repeat. I, thus instructed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Jogamaya immediately agreed with the Vedic mantra Om. She confirmed that she would do what he asked. Thus having accepted the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, she succumbed him and started for the place on earth known as Nanda Gokul. There she did everything just as she had been told. Purple by Srini Prabhupada. After receiving the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Yogamaya twice confirmed her acceptance by saying, Yes, sir. I shall do as you order. And then saying, Om. Srila Vishwana Chakrabarti Thakur comments that Om signifies Vedic confirmation. Thus, Yoga Maya very faithfully received the Lord's order as a Vedic injunction. It is a fact that whatever is spoken by the Lord the Supreme Personality of Godhead is a Vedic injunction and that no one should neglect. In the Vedic injunctions there are no mistakes, illusions, cheating or imperfection. Unless one understands the authority of the Vedic version there is no need in 
or there's no purpose of quoting Shastra. No one should violate the Vedic injunction. Rather, one should strictly execute the orders given in the Vedas, as stated in Bhagavad Gita 16.24, Tasmat Chastram Paramanam Te Karya Karya Vyavastito Gyatva Shastra Vidha Noktam Karma Kartum Iha Hrasi One should understand what is duty and what is not duty by the regulations of the scriptures. Knowing such rules and regulations, one should act so that one may gradually be elevated. <clears> Om <throat> Yantam Vidam Dasya Chanan Janan Shalakaya Tikshura Militan Dinitas Maya Shri Gurvinvaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Tadatha Sri Vashari Gaurakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna <clears throat> So here the Lord is ordering his internal potency, Jogamaya, to do some seva. She has to transfer from uh, the womb of Devaki uh, to the womb of Rohini. She has to transfer Balaram. Uh, so this is her service. And uh, she will also appear as the uh, sister of Krishna. <clears throat> so, Anyway, we can see how obedient that the Lord's energies are. This is the supreme, potent, powerful energy of the Lord. He's one Shakti that is moving the whole of the spiritual world and the whole of the material world. It's all by, done by this one potency of the Lord. Immensely powerful. She's all-pervading everywhere, Maya. And in the spiritual world, she's also there, assisting the Lord in these different pastimes. <clears throat> and she's asked to do something for the Lord. He wants some service from her. But she's so humble, considering she is everything practically in the, in the material world and the universe. She's, but she, immediately she's such a humble position. <clears throat> uh, And says, yes, she will do that. <coughs> I'll agree to do that. <coughs> and and then here she also she chants the, the Vedic mantra Om as a confirmation that what Krishna just asked us, she will do. So you can see that she's a great Vaishnavi, but we can see the humility that uh, she has here. Uh, so. This uh, energy of the Lord, Yogamaya, its potency, uh, when it's dealing with the Lord, it's known as Yogamaya. And when it's dealing with material desires, it becomes Mahamaya. It's, we're not dealing with two different energies of the Lord, Yogamaya and Mahamaya. Uh, it's one energy. The Brahma Samhita says, Chaya Eva Durga. Chaya means shadow, shadow reflection. Uh, 
So in the beginning of creation, when the Lord glances over the material energy, or actually he glances over the spiritual energy, Roma Devi, because he doesn't touch material. So he glances over Roma Devi, and Roma Devi, she carries that function of his glance to the material world. And the glance, the glance of Vishnu is non-different than Vishnu. Vishnu's name, form, pastimes, qualities, his glance is also non-different. So she carries that glance, so that it's not directly Krishna, it's, it becomes, he, because it becomes dislocated from Krishna, she carries it. So he can come to the material world and then she reflects, Roma Devi reflects, into the material world as Mahamaya. Roma Devi is goddess of fortune, Yoga Maya also. Potency. Uh, so she carries the function of the glance of the material energy and then she reflects, Yoga Maya reflects into the material world as Mahamaya. And Vishnu's glance reflects into the material <coughs> as Uh, Shambhu, or time, Shiva, because if the creation is going to take place, there has to be a, a man and a woman. So Parvati Devi, uh, Yoga Maya becomes Parvati, the spiritual energy reflects as Parvati Devi. Uh, then they can touch the material energy and the glance becomes Shambhu, Shiv, Sadashi. Uh, uh, so then they can touch the material energy and so by their combination then the creation takes place that's the first creation then after that the secondary creation takes place this like Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita all species in all species of life are made possible uh, in this material world uh, all species of life made possible. And I am the seed giving father of everyone. So Krishna is speaking this in Bhagavad Gita. He's talking to Arjuna. And he's saying that I am the seed giving father of everyone. But how can Krishna touch the material energy? How he can become the father of everyone? It's material energy, but Krishna doesn't touch material energy. So why does Krishna make that statement? I am the original, I am the seed giving father. Uh, there has to be some seed that impregnate. Uh, so that I am the seed giving father, then Krishna is speaking that as Lord Shiva. Because Lord Shiva is a seed giving father. Who else can consult with Parvati? She is, Parvati is known as Sati, the most chaste woman in the universe. Who else can consort with her except her husband? Uh, so, uh, so that's uh, Lord Shiva. So when Krishna is saying this in Bhagavad Gita, what do you know? I am the seed giving father. He is saying, I am the seed giving father in the form or in my form as Shiva. Because Krishna expands into all these different creatures. Shiva is, Krishna expands as Shiva also. He's a Tamaguna, avatar. Uh, so Krishna is saying, no, I'm, I'm the seed giving father. But how is he the seed? In the form of Lord Shiva, I am the seed giving father. Krishna and his energies He's not, you cannot separate the energies from, from Krishna. Just as you cannot separate the sunshine from the sun globe, by the way, there is no meaning to the sun. <clears throat> so she is that uh, personality, uh, one potency. Uh, 
Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakos has said, when you're approaching this, when you're going back to Godhead, you're, you're going through the, uh, out of the universe, out of the dual universe. <clears throat> Uh, it says that the Guru is there by your side. He's urging you on, go on, go on, go on. You, you make that step into Golok. Yes, uh, you have to make that step. So he's there, the Guru is there urging you and giving you enthusiasm to make that step back to God because you made the step outside of the spiritual world to come here. So you have to make the step to go back also. So the Guru Sadhu Shakti, they're all for this, for enthusing us, pushing us, urging us on. These all the mantras mean this, Gayatri mantras, Hare Krishna mantras, please engage in your service. They're urging us on, the energies of the Lord. Please engage us in the service of Krishna. <clears throat> so, Yeah, so it's just it's, it's just uh, one, one energy. But uh, Maya is there also. She's also testing. She's testing by uh, she, by understanding your desires. Uh, she understands everything. We can go before Radha Mother and offer very devotional prayers but uh, Radha she is that internal potency and the external potency is, is not different so we, we can offer very devotional prayers to the deities but then yoga maya uh, that's yoga maya's function but uh, maha maya is there uh, we're offering the nice prayers uh, to Radharani, but she's saying, well, what about all that attention you give to my sister, <laughs> Maha Maya? <laughs> yes, you're offering nice prayers and everything now, but in the form of Maha Maya, you're offering me <laughs> different prayers, you're, well, you want these fulfillment of material desires and like that. Uh, uh, so she says that is your desire to go back simply in the mood of serving Krishna or is it in the mood of controlling in the spiritual world and enjoying in the spiritual world? So she checks, your desire is checked. Uh, if your mood is just service, you're entering, you want to go in for a savor without any expectation of rewards. Then, then uh, Yoga Maya reveals Form, she lifts the curtain of Yoga Maya and reveals the whole spiritual wealth. Then you can step in. Uh, but if you still have material desires, uh, then you're approaching and offering prayers, but that is the material desire, so Maha Maya is reciprocating. And Bhakti Siddhanta Sospari Thakura said she is she becomes like the somewhat something the Sphinx. You know what is a Sphinx? In Egypt they have some big stone models of maybe half lion head or something or a lion body and a kind of anyway famous they were the wonders of the world sometimes. Shrink. They're huge, huge, carved in solid rock in Egypt somewhere. Anyway, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur says you're approaching. But if you have material desires, then Maya Devi shows you. Just like that Sphinx, it's like looking, we say in English sometimes, it's like looking at a brick wall. <laughs> you're not going to get anything out of it, you're looking at a brick wall. So similarly, you're, you're seeing with this great huge stone sphinx, you're not going to get very far by talking to that stone sphinx. It's just a lump of stone. 
So yoga now Maya knows who this Maya knows who this our desires. But anyway, there give us inspiration, go on. <laughs> accept yoga Maya and accept the spiritual world. Don't be influenced by Mahamaya and stay back in the material world. <clears throat> so <clears throat> so here she is confirmed Om. Om is the main mantra, or at least one of the main mantras. It's accepted by most as the main mantra in the, all the Vedic hymns and Om. It, it represents eternality, the all pervading aspect of the Lord. We have Sat Chit Ananda. So, Sat, we are eternal. That eternal principle is Om. Uh, so it's therefore it's all pervading, eternal. <clears throat> uh, so it, it, it signifies here a Vedic confirmation. Om will be done. I think uh, Srila Prabhupada's room one time here in the Lotus Building and uh, he was asked, he asked me how I was doing the worship. At that time we had just that small Radha Mother over here. And uh, I said we, um, we bring the deities down and to bathe them, we polish them with the tilak, some tilak paste, because they're brass deities. We polish them with our tilak, and uh, then we bathe the deities. Then he said, what mantra do you use? I said, well, we usually chant Chintamani prayers. Maybe that was the only prayers we knew at that time. In fact, in Calcutta, at that time, they would be chanting Govinda prayers for Guru Puja. <laughs> we didn't know the Guru Puja song. So we used to chant Chintamani. I think it was chanted for everything. <laughs> Everybody knew Chintamani prayers. Uh, uh, yeah, so I said, um, we chant uh, Chintamani prayers, Prabhupada. Prabhupada said, when the deities are being bathed, you should chant Chintamani. And Prabhupada said, oh no, that's good. And I said, oh, oh we chant the Gayatri mantras as well, Srila Prabhupada. Before, I think before they started the Pujas, we chant Gayatri. I'm like, oh, Gayatri, Om, Om is there, Vedic, very good, very good, Om is there. I part appreciated it also, the Om. And uh, so here it's, it's, been, it's a confirmation that it's, it's going to happen. So it's good. If you can get that confirmation, it's very good. I had confirmation. Mm -hmm. um, Um, anyway, it's an experience. I, I don't want to talk too much about myself. <laughs> but anyway, it's, just, it's about Prabhupada. So, uh, I was in, uh, so in the Bhajan Kutir. There was nowhere else to be at that time. <laughs> and Prabhupada was there, and Bhavananda was there. So Prabhupada was talking with the Bhavananda, he was a, the president, managers. And uh, so generally Prabhupada would obviously talk to the managers because they have to get things done. So I was just sitting there by Prabhupada's side, just listening, discussing what the, my for my management. <clears throat> and then Prabhupada said to Bhavananda, he said, this boy, Jananibas, he should have some help. 
He cannot do everything. He is an ordinary person. Good instruction. Ordinary, ordinary person. But uh, I was the only Pujari. So it meant from morning till night I was doing it for Prabhupada. <laughs> he understood that. He should have some help. He's, he's an ordinary person. He cannot do everything. So Bhavananda, okay. And Prabhupada looked at me and he said, so? He said, you should train up Pujaris. I said, yes, Sri Prabhupada. I just, I just got a second initiation and I was just started to do the puja. And we didn't have any system, the real system of training. You know? Chant chant how many prayers when you pay the deity, that was it. And so uh, he was talking again with Bhavananda and again then he turned to me and he said, so you should, you should train up pujaris at the Ashrita Prabhupada. I didn't know what he meant. Who didn't have any, have any system. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, th then they finished their conversation. We, we were leaving Bhajan Kuti. I had one foot inside, one foot outside, just stepping. And then, I heard, and then I heard, train up Pucharis. You hear me? <laughs> Confirmation three times. <laughs> so if you get that orders from the Guru and ex execute it, if, just if you get an order twice or she got twice, I got three times. <laughs> you go get an order from your guru one time also is good. And you execute that to the best of your ability. That is perfection. That is how we make perfection. Uh, but how do we execute that or that order? Very difficult orders sometimes to go here. Uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saras Puritako said, when you get an order from the spiritual master, the potency to execute that order is also manifest within that order. So there's no excuse that <laughs> something is, uh, you know, <clears throat> Yeah, the, the potency to execute is there also. So if you can't execute it, it maybe you're not trying enough. <laughs> but the potency is there, you can hold it. Prabhupada did impossible things. The potency was there. So he, he, he heard the order of his spiritual master. And he, he said, I made that my life and soul. He said that when I read the Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur's Purport on Vyasatmeka Buddhi Rekiha Kuru Nandana Bahu Shakayanandasha Gudhayo Vashayanam. This is second second chapter, maybe text 42 or something. Uh, those are resolute. Uh, fixed their one in purpose, those who are irresolute, they are many branch, Bahu Shaka. Uh, if you're fixed, de determination, intelligence is fixed, it should be fixed. The one who is not fixed, then it's Bahu Shaka, many branches here and there and everywhere. Uh, so, he, he, he's <coughs> commenting, what is the uh, <coughs> What is that single-pointed de determination that's fixed, fixed on one point? That is point. What is it? Is it like the yogis that fix on one point on the nose and you're staring at the nose? No, not that fixed in one point. But fixed in the order of the spiritual master. That is Vyasatmika Buddhiya. You're fixed on one point. What is that point? Executing the spiritual master. It doesn't mean sitting down like a yogi, you mean you could be running all over the world to execute that order. And Srila uh, Prabhupada said, when I read that with the purport by Vishnu Chakrabhati Prabhupada said, it struck me. 
struck me. If you get something like that in order, or you read something in Prabhupada's book, so Guru Maharaj tells you something, sometimes you get boom. That you should cultivate. That feeling in that essence, you should cultivate that. <clears throat> Prabhupada said, it struck me. And I remembered my Guru Maharaj, he gave me orders about spreading the English, in the English language, the Krishna consciousness all over the world. And he said, it struck me. Uh, so I made, the, I, I made this my life's mission. Prabhupada comments many places on this verse and throughout his books. We are Satmik here. And uh, one, uh, and uh, yeah, many purposes. And so one of them, he said, what one should not only find, one should find out the ways. One should find out the ways and means to execute that order above and beyond anything else. In other words, that becomes. And it's, one should execute that, not only he should execute, find out the ways and means to execute the order, but he should worship that order. Because that order will take you back to Godhead, so it's worshipable. <clears throat> uh, so like that, Srila Prabhupada as the founder, Acharya means, Acharya means one who, Sets example, sets example. This was Prabhupada's example, founder Acharya's example of how Prabhupada, which process he adopted mainly to become Krishna conscious, which was unlimited activities in Krishna consciousness. But Prabhupada, <clears throat> he adopted this process of making the order of his guru his life and soul. And it was a success story. Sri Prabhupada Ki he, he spread the message of Krishna in the English speaking world all over the world. So it was successful. So if we follow in Prabhupada's footsteps, you feel something or something strikes you, or you get the order and you make it your life and soul, that will be your perfection. The founder of Charya has shown, shown us the way, he's shown us the path. <clears throat> so the yoga, my very, very obedient. Yes, yes, sir, I will immediately execute your order. <clears throat> so, I heard something yesterday from Babananda Prabhu. I don't know if I forgot it all over these years, but uh, he said that Srila Prabhupada said to him that they should have a, 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 a hundred people group should come to Mayapur and be trained in deity worship and then go back and send another batch of a hundred <laughs> like that constant batches of a hundred to, to train up the pujaris there should be at least a hundred pujaris here I never heard that before anyway the Mayapur Academy is doing pretty well we got 40 students this, <laughs> this year for three months and then they had another course in Kartik month so it, it, it's actually being executed <clears throat> so, so Yoga Maya, she appears in Vrindavan as Purnamasi and different, different aspects also, Vrindadevi is there, Katyayani. Well, they were worshipping Yoga Maya, the gopis, when they, because they wanted Krishna as their husband, so they worship Katyayani. <coughs> but generally they go to worship <coughs> for a husband. 
<coughs> for a good husband or something like that, like the young girls were doing. They went to bathe in the, in the Jamuna early morning to get Krishna as their husband. That was the motivation. But the tradition is they're going to get a good husband for themselves. The young gopis or young girls will go to the and perform this vrata to get a husband, good husband like that. <clears throat> so then Katyayani will become Mahamaya <laughs> for ordinary people who are just going to get an, an ordinary husband. That will be conducted under Mahamaya. But the gopis, because they wanted Krishna as their husband, then that whole aspect come under Yoga Maya. And she's showing her faces, Katyayani is showing her faces. <clears throat> But they, they, have, they have deities there of Yoga Maya. And she's they, it's like a picture of the uh, form of Daruga. With a, I don't know, four arms or ten arms. And the deity of Brinda Devi and Kamyavan, you've been to Kamyavan when you do the Braj Pikra. There's a deity of Brinda Devi there. She's also the form of uh, Daruga. But they, you can't see, it's, it's like a relief, like Katyani, there it's a relief deity. And they bring the dress up like this, every day, you see they dress the same way. But she's got a different, she's got some different arms here. <laughs> so they put a cloth around like, so you can see two arms, but actually she has, she has a, a, eight, arm, eight or ten arms there. But they dress like this with the cloth. So. Because some people may think, well, she's got ten arms, it's Durga, she's Durga. But actually, she's Yoga Maya. So they just should display the two arms. And uh, also in uh, Govindaji Temple, Radha Govindaji Temple, Rupa Goswami. <coughs> you go downstairs underneath the deity, it's a place you can go like down. There is a deity there of Yoga Maya also. And that's also a form of Durga, she's sitting on the lion there. <coughs> so she's, she's the big mover in the spiritual realm, Yoga Maya. Uh, she's the big mover here in this project, Yogi Piki Jay. She's assisting here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. She has another form of Shimantini, <coughs> this Shimantini. She was feeling she was like Durga Devi, Pavati Devi. Uh, Mahaprabhu came and gave her initiation, not initiation, but he revealed her through. Uh, she, said, uh, she said, I am Maya Devi. Where there is Maya, the sunshine cannot come. Where there is, oh, sorry, where the cloud is, where the cloud is there, the sunshine cannot come. So you, and where uh, Maya is, Krishna. Where Krishna is, Maya cannot stand. <laughs> so what is my position? I'm, I'm Maya Maha Maya, and you. Garanga Mahaprabhu, you have come to give you darshan to everyone in the universe, but I, I'm the only one be ready for your mercy because I cannot stand in front of you because I'm Mahamaya and you are Krishna. Uh, so then Mahaprabhu from, said, from my angle of vision I see you are non different than Srimata Radharani. It was Mahaprabhu's vision that your, your Mahamaya was actually Radharani. Again, the same thing, it's not two energies, we're dealing with one energy and the reflection. <clears throat> uh, Uh, so anyway, it's important because um, Yoga Maya is 
She left number three. This, after Mahaprabhu's pastimes were finished, the, the Ganges came and flooded the whole area here. For 100 years this was all underwater. Even the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu got lost. And everybody left this I went to Highland, which was Navadweep town, is a higher land. So everybody left because of the fl flooding, a hundred years. <clears throat> and then after that, the Ganga goes back to a steady course again. It's not, it's not flooding. It's not flooding. But Ganga Devi is coming and she's twisting like a snake for the pleasure of her hunger. And she's washing all the pastime places away, all the Ganga gets erod eroding all the different banks of the Ganga and everything gets completely <coughs> lost. <coughs> so, it's mentioned in Dhammadip Dhammahapnya, Nityananda Prabhu is speaking with Jiva Goswami. <coughs> so after that, 400 years, 100 years flood in, 300 years twisting, gunk, washing, washing everything. <clears throat> then after that time, 400 years, he said again, Ganga will go back to a steady course. Many, many devotees will come again and live in Mayapur. They will build many houses. And they will have deities, Chagnat, Kornitai, Krishna. And the holy name will always be being heard. How many of you have got a house here? In Namadi. Who has house? Flat? This is a Leela. You're fulfilling the desire of Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu. They predicted all this will happen. You are doing. <clears throat> many, many, yeah, know for certain at the end of these 400 years, The task of revealing the Dharma again will begin in earnest. So this corresponds almost 400 years exactly to the time when Srila Bhakti Nautaka had that vision and rediscovered the, the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> again, Prodamai will come back. And again, the task of revealing the Dharma will begin. Yogamai was. It's been, the Dharma has been covered to the eyes of the scholars, but that now that, that this will start to be revealed. Yoga Maya will again, Proto Maya will come and be revealed the Dharma. No for certain. Because Jiva goes from a Yas Mahaprabhu, when these floods come, what happens to the deities of Proto Maya and Brita Sheep? <coughs> there is a God behind the, you know Shiva Dova, behind that, that was the original Ganga. <clears throat> and that was Shiva got there. So Pro Damayar and Lord Shiva would stay there at that Ghat. Then 10 meters from there is Goranga's Ghat, where Mahaprabhu will come, he had his own Ghat and play with his friends. <clears throat> then 15, 30 meters beyond that is Barak Madai Ghat. You know, Madai made you a, a gut there after his deliverance. Then after that is Barakrona Gat and Putin. So Jiva goes from he says, What happens to the when it's flooded, what happens to Prodomaya and Brita Shi? Lord Shiva's on Brita. Brita means old, very old. He's the first creation, right? Proda also means old. So you can take that. They're the first creators before this before the secondary creation. Broder Maya and so old, they're the oldest persons. <clears throat> yeah, he said again, uh, yeah, what will happen? What happened to those deities? And then he explains again after the flooding and everything. Again, Broder Maya and Brita Sheep will come from Namadweep. That's where they are. And again, they will come back here. This is some of the task we have here, we have to reveal these different places. 
We have the, uh, what's it called? Anyway, we have some kind of fun, some trust for, for the Dharm, Dharm saver, revealing the Dharm. And, you know. So anyway, that's, it's very important for us. If we want to st try to establish this temple of Prodha Maya, Yoga Maya Devi, because she's the big mover. She's going to, she gets everything going spiritually. So we might have a little bit anxious to get that temple there and then see what happens. Uh, but the promise, the, the prediction is there. Know for certain. At this time, again, the task of revealing the Dharma will begin again. And, uh, so we should propitiate Devi here at Jiva Gavda. <coughs> Okay, that, that's in the future. <laughs> Not too long in the future, but I, you know, when the, maybe when the TOP is finished. Because that's a prediction also. Many houses will be built here, many temples will be built here. There will also be one very astonishing temple. Adhubhut Mandir Hoi Viprakash, Gauranga, Nitya Seva Hoi Viprakash. Very astonishing temple will be here. And from that temple, service to Lord Gauranga spreads all over the world. What is the main savior of Gauranga? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. So this spreads, the Hare Krishna spreads all over the world. These old predictions. We can help and assist. Transcendental Dharm. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Shabhagatam ki jai, Gopad ki jai, Tai Gopremanandi, Hare Krishna. Any comment or question? Yes. Hare Krishna, bro. Uh, bro, in the beginning of your class, uh, you are telling about the Roma Devi. Roma Devi. So, can you please explain about Roma Devi? <coughs> Roma Devi is just another name of Lakshmi. She has different forms, different expansions for different pastimes, the internal energy, added as Lakshmi or Srimata Radharani. So Roma Devi is one of the names <coughs> of the <coughs> goddess Lakshmi. <coughs> 